your April 2020. This is going to be the What Aren't They Telling You for the Beautiful Sign of Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hello, Gems. How are you? You are number 12. You dropped tremendously. I understand that some of you guys obviously are going through a very bad patch right now. Um, and that completely makes sense. Um, I wanted to start your reading off with letting you know that the, how do I put this? It's a, it's a less, it's a blessing and it's a lesson here. On one hand, Jim, you got almost all major arcana. All of these major arcana that you're experiencing right now, though, it's all about what you need to do. It does involve a relationship, and there has been extreme challenges in this relationship. I can see it. Let me greet you, and then we're going to get into it. Um, some of you Geminis are connecting with who had page energy? Uh, Leo. Some of you Geminis are crossing with Leo energy. There are lessons. There is a, there, a page, maybe a child, bad communication, um, some arguing, some bickering. Yeah, they got the same card in the same place as I'm reading all of you back to back to back. Okay. So also, you're, the person that you're connecting with for this week, and this is the week of the 5th through the 11th, this current week will be posted after this in a couple days. I do have some of those videos ready, but not ready for you to see yet. It's being the what is hidden motivations. A person is setting the intention of hiding their motives. I have a problem with that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I... It's a personal meaning because it means two. I instantly felt like it was the other person or it's a it's an energy that's not your own. But you take it the way that you think that it comes. Something hidden is going on behind the drapes. On the practical level, it can indicate an important decision or situation that you don't have all of the information about. You're being guided to be patient. The knowledge will come. However, the card can hold a, a more deep, deeply personal meaning. You have goals in mind you're, that are hidden thoughts and issues that are behind the image that you present to the world. So the card is telling you to look within for any unknown motivations that may influence your energy and your plans. Perhaps, I think Pisces had this card before. If you are looking for love, yet because of your past hurts, you shut down to protect yourself. Pause. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to get a When Spirit Speaks Oracle. I've been doing that. I did that for the, the oh, choices. All right. Well, it told me. I've been pulling a When Spirit Speaks Oracle for all of the people who are not being um, extended choices. And both of the cards are blue. They've been matching, too. Ooh, and I've been kind of blue. But all I can see is red, red, red. Oh, that's my song, Fiona Apple, red, red, red. What am I gonna do? Choices. Oh my goodness. Who is has a choice to make? Who I just got that clear. I don't understand about complementary colors and what they say. Side by side, they both get bright. Together, we both get gray. Together, they both get gray. But he's been pretty much yellow. And I've been kind of blue. And all I can see is red, 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 red now. What am I going to do? Oh, my God. Well, this has something to do with a relationship. The first and foremost, you have all major arcana, like I said, with the exception of one card, which lets me know. Let's get started. We have the decision. The card of 15, 
We have the decision. Release yourself from which what holds you back. A need to detox. Unnecessary worry on a lack of self-confidence. We have the card of 16. Change your life. A sudden revelation that offers freedom. Break free from procrastination. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. Heart of the matter, we have the lovers. Make choices from your heart. Deeply emotional commitments, the power of love. We also have the epiphany. Joy through spiritual growth. Be a light to others. Answers that come through meditation. And then all of those are being, um, we're, we're at the end of this message. We have the page of Michael, which is the equivalent of the page of swords. An exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed. Review contracts or document very thoroughly. No, no, no. A page of swords. And this particular um, is an opportunity for growth. And it comes your way in the guise of a problem or a dilemma. Pages bring challenges. Whether it's exciting or not, we see I've been kind of blue. My page is blue. Look at looky looky. Blue, blue, blue. I can't make this up. Okay. So you're sad. Or possibly the person that is connecting with you is sad, Gemini. Top of the deck is solutions, the card of 14. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience, forgiving and healing energy. Now I'm gonna give you all of the equivalents, okay? Just so you understand. First and foremost, we have the devil. Thoughts, that's the decision card. Thoughts, actions, thought process, everything. We go from the devil to the tower. Okay? What is not built upon firm foundation will come crashing down. We have the lovers in the heart of the matter. Then in the ninth position, we have the hermit. Virgo energy is here. Capricorn energy is here as well. Earth energy is surrounded around you. You do also maybe uh, you're crossing with the Leo. This is the hermit. You're going on a journey to try to find enlightenment. Um, the enlightenment that you seek as the hermit, um, it's interesting because in the solutions card... Um, this is temperance. So those, um, the, the enlightenment that you find by tapping into your hermit is going to bring you to temper yourselves. Um, and I say all the time, I do not believe that people completely change. I believe that they temper. I'm not arguing with anybody about that. All major arcana energy. There's a situation that must change. There's hidden emotions, hidden, hidden, hidden motivation. There are choices here, Gemini. Let's go ahead and clarify with the romance angels. What's the decision? What this is the decision that needs to be giving the relationship a chance? Um, working on your partnership is the decision that needs to be made. I told you it had something to do with a relationship. There is a tremendous amount of love here, but you're being guided. I don't necessarily think think to work on the relationship let's see change your life the tower was chemistry the strong magnetic um uh, connection came crashing down the change your life is the equivalent of the tower the lovers is being clarified by if i can get this card hold on true love that's beautiful romance of a lifetime Okay, clarify the epiphany. The epiphany is free yourself. So when you go into your epiphany and your hermit mode, it's being clarified by the, t by the fact that you have to break free from this energy. There is a strong energy around you that recognizes that you need to walk away from what you register as your true love. Okay. The challenge. Woo! Now we get now now we going somewhere. What is this page? 
Gemini, if I can get this card. What is this page? Releasing your ex, babe. So the page, truthful, perceptive, analytic, blunt, an exciting new challenge being clarified by the fact that you won't release your ex. I'm sorry. What the hell is exciting about that? Okay. Solutions being clarified by heart-to-heart -heart conversations. There needs to be some truth, Gemini. Success comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience for giving and healing energy, temperance, with heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I, I can't. So, reading the energy as it's coming through from the cross watcher's perspective, Gemini, they feel like you are stuck on your ex. They are registering you or resonating you or designating you as their true love. But they want you to give the relationship a chance due to other magnetic uh, 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 attraction that exists between you two. They want you to understand that this is a romance of a lifetime and you guys have shared a connection in something so deep that not even the ex could relate. You guys have been through a lot. They want you to step inside of your hermit and come to the conclusion and the epiphany that you have to free yourself from the energy of the ex. And the release your ex card is here as the challenge saying that you have to release this energy and take your and, and take your energy back, Gemini. I believe, honestly, that it's in reverse. But you let me know. I'm going to get blockages. And since you are my last video, I'm going to break the angels out. Because I want to know what the what is the choice. There is a lot of purple, a lot of purple, and a lot of blue. If you want, first of all, love that's blocked between you two. There was not a commitment to practice the seeing good in all things because there's been too much tumultuous energy here. All three of these are a shade of purple. Violet, light, lavender or lilac, violet and plain old down to earth purple. And all of the major arcana is purple. Okay? Perseverance. I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. That came up as a blockage. There's been a lot of starts and stops here. Running back and forth between two people. Okay? Honestly. I cannot always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Well, you have to open and honestly discuss your feelings with one another because we have healing energy here, solution, temperance, tempering yourself. Top of the deck energy is coming through as another shade of purple, purpose, okay? Choices, hidden motivations, the intention that was set is being hidden as if someone wants to, to dibble and dabble with both. I don't like it at all. We're going to break these out, but first I'm going to get, I'm not going to do the soulmate card. I'm going to do the other deck because the hidden hidden truth, because we definitely need some hidden truth right now, don't we, guys? So they're not telling you this, Gemini, but they've been dibbing, dibbing and dabbling with the ex, and it came crashing down between you two, because although there is a strong magnetic attraction, they won't come under the, the energy of that ex. Now I'm going to tell you three more cards here. Maybe we won't get angels. Maybe we will. Let's see. I'm going to get three of these to try to figure out how they feel and what, also what they're not telling. Because this, these cards are perfect for telling you what they're not saying. 
we're going to be incorporating these in going forward. Because they are called the hidden truth. And we uncover what they're not telling you, right? Give me three cards. Ooh-wee. This person is not playing. What else? How are they feeling? Ooh, okay. Show me, spirit. All right. Well, first of all, they're coming in, Gemini, saying that I know that I crossed the line with you. I'll say. They are also coming in saying that I lost myself for a little while. They're also saying that we need to let each other go. So that's probably what they're going to say to you in this heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Um, some form or variation of those three in this conversation that you're going to have. I am going to, for shits and giggles, pull answer oracles for you. I want to know, though that's coming through as saying that, you know, they, they crossed the line, they lost themselves, but they do feel like you guys need to let one another go because obviously they're not going to release the energy of the ex anytime soon. Um, so we're going to find out right now what does the angels have to say about this, the fate of this. Okay, well, that's not necessarily good. Show me, spirit. Well, you got a double confirmation that you need to let this go. You got to let it go. It sucks. I'm sorry. You will be completely over this within the next couple of months. I'm sorry. With Yeah, within the next few months, this too shall pass. Right now, Spirit is saying that this is perfect timing for this to happen. And I believe that that's because something later, greater is coming into your life, Gemini. You're being guided to let go. This is the second confirmation. Two totally different decks. Let each other go. And ultimately, the choice, they're going to go back to the X. And the answer is no. Okay? Wow. I can't. I, I just, I can't right now. I just, I, I. And because this is not so good, I'm going to get a soulmate, a sacred soulmate oracle for you, just to see if we can have a glimmer of hope for what's going to happen within the next couple of months. I hope that we, tell us what's going to happen for Gemini in the next couple months. All right, well. Do we have any new soulmates that's going to come in? Well, no, but what it is saying is that this is the lessons of Jupiter. And interestingly enough, um, Gemini, if I'm not mistaken, where's my, if I'm not mistaken, um, Jupiter is about to move into your sign June 14th. So that means within the next couple of months, that lines up perfectly. This is April, May, June. When Jupiter enters into your life, align, demonstrate, and express the values and beliefs that you've learned about love because of this crap. Be open to new ways. The results are healing and expansion. So I do feel like this aligns perfectly with your Jupiter or part of fortune or uh, the North Node. In the south node going into Gemini, is it Gemini Sagittarius? <sighs> Something like that. I apologize if I don't know that other sign right now. I'm not great at counting. Whatever the opposite of your energy is, but Gemini, I definitely know that it's going into your sign. So I apologize for um, the message, but this person is trying to choose between two people. And by the looks of it, they're going to choose um, this other person. And they've been going back and forth with this person, but I believe that they're going to excel to a higher level of commitment now. And they just don't want to go back and forth anymore. 
Um, so I'm sorry about that, but it is going to come to you. They're going to, uh, you guys may with this page have a child, by the way. Um, so if you do, you're going to, uh, temperance is going to be necessary to try to heal the relationship and get along for the child's sake, which I can attest to that's hard, especially when you think the other parent is a plum idiot. I apologize for saying that, but. So you guys let me know whether it resonates. Wow. I am just like dumbfounded here. I haven't read a reading in a long time where every card was a major arcana. So this is over. I'll, this is over with. Just let it go. Don't try to force it. Just accept it. Okay. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I will see you guys here in a couple days when we do it again. If you want a book, if this resonates with you, I have a couple of more re, um, slots open. A couple more readers, a couple more slots for this month, and then I'm done. And I'm going to take a few days off from reading for the first couple of days of the month to celebrate readings with Marvelous Madame's uh, two year anniversary. Um, and then I will stay tuned for the party. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. I'll see you soon. Bye, Jim.